Hi everyone. So today I have a really exciting box opening to do. It arrived today and it's one of the Cindy Collectors Club dolls. Now, I have got, and I bought them when the Collectors Club dolls first come out. I've got Dream Day, who is wearing the pink dress. I've got Skater Girl, who's in blue. I've got Sleepy Time, who's in pink satin PJs. And I've got Weekender, who is in a copy of the original Cindy Weekender outfit. So I've got four of them. The other two I didn't manage to get because the four that I got, I got over a long period of time. I got them for birthdays, anniversaries. So yeah, I had to wait to get them. And then by the time I was in a position to maybe consider buying City Chic and Shopping Look, they'd gone, they'd sold out. Now, as luck would have it, on eBay, City Chic and Shopping Look go for the most money and they were the ones that sold out first. So they're going for £425 buy it now. I think the cheapest I've seen is £350 buy it now. So I decided if I was going to get one, I'm just going to have to keep a lookout and try and do it on a bid, which I have been trying to do for a while but I'm not willing to pay ridiculous prices. So over the weekend, the weekend just gone, I'm not going to tell you which one it is, whether it's City Chic or Shopping Look, but I bid on one of them and I got her for a reasonable price. I'm not going to tell you how much I paid for her, but it was a reasonable price. Obviously, a fair bit more than what, I mean, I think they were about £90, weren't they? A fair bit more than that, but a lot less than on other either buy it now or when I was bidding on other dolls, you know, a, a lot less than that. So I have got her at a reasonable price, a price I was willing to pay. So here she is. So as I say, I'm not going to tell you which one she is, but yeah. So I'm going to open her up. My goodness. Oh, she's very well packaged, which is good actually got um i'd been uh, out out this morning and had to do a bit of shopping i had to go and see my son but um she's actually got a mickey mouse on the front of the box the seller has wrapped her inside a Dis disney box so i got home and my husband was like i didn't think you were going to collect the Dis disney dolls because obviously i've got some of the disney um clothes haven't i and i said no i'm not i'm, I'm not collecting the disney Disney doll. She, he said, well, you, you've obviously got one here. And I said, no, it's from eBay. The seller has obviously used a Disney box. So he said, oh, well, what is it then? I said, it's a Cindy doll. So that's what it is. Right. So open it up. Oh, she's got quite a lot of bubble wrap in here. Let me just show you. She's well packed. Now, the seller said she would be here on Thursday today. And she came this morning. So, yeah, very, very excited. Right, so you can see how Disney, the, the inside of the box is. It's really Disney, isn't it? But, yeah, there she is. So all of these Collectors Club dolls come in the same box, as you can see. I've kept the boxes of the four that I've got. Right, let's get rid of the... The seller also put some brown paper underneath, so she was really well packed, wasn't she? So here she is. So as I say, they all come in these boxes. They're really nice boxes, really good quality, really nice. They're pink. And if you put them all together, you can make the Union Jack in silver. So I've kept the boxes of the dolls I've already got. So now I've got five. So I'm determined now to get the sixth one. I'm not willing to pay stupid prices, so it could be a while before I manage to get the sixth one. But this is the fifth doll that I've got. So let's open her up. I've waited a long time for this doll, a very long time. It's hard to get the lid off while I'm... Here we go. Right, so here we go. So the inside of the box 
probably gives away who I've got looking at that, doesn't it? The inside of the box has this lovely picture. The box is in really good condition, so I'm pleased with that. The box is as if it was new, so pleased with that. So they have this lovely... When you buy them originally, they have tissue paper around the box, but obviously that is no longer on there because someone else has bought this. But you do have tissue paper inside as well with S for Cindy on in pink. So here we go. Oh, she's even put bubble wrap inside as well. So I think you can possibly see which one it is. So there would normally be, I'll tell you what we haven't got. There would normally be some boxes here with the accessories in and they aren't, aren't there, which is fine. You know, she isn't new to me. So yeah, the, the box, little boxes there are missing. That's, that's fine, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. So we've got lots of small bubble wrap here. Now in here, I think it's probably the accessories. Yeah, I don't know why the seller didn't keep the, the pink boxes, but they obviously didn't. Which I didn't know when I bought it, but it doesn't, it doesn't bother me. Right, so a little cindy bag which is really nice so that would have come in one of the boxes and then this would have come in on in one of the other boxes we've got a little cindy magazine there so that one on the front is one of the dolls that i want as well that's one of the dolls i'm missing i'm sure you've probably guessed which doll i've got and so in another one of the boxes would have been this lovely bag which is really nice. It doesn't actually open up, which is a bit strange. I would have thought that bag would have opened up. Oh, well, it's obviously not, not meant to, but yeah. So there's her shopping bag, which is really nice. So yeah, you would have got this in one of the boxes and then the bag in another box. And then you would have got this in another box. You would have got three, I love these bags. All of the dolls come with come with those bags right so here's her stand now these dolls come with amazing stands as you can see and they've got cindy written on them they're lovely stands these are the only thing i'd say about these stands now i've got skater girl and when skater girl has her skates on to get her to stay in her stand you have to her the skates make her too small so you have to bend her legs. So the stand is actually too short for skater girl with her skates on. So I have to bend her legs a bit to get her to stand on the stand. So she could have done with a bigger stand, skater girl should have done. But yeah, it's a really nice stand. So this bit at the top obviously goes around their waist. It's a very good quality stand and yeah, yeah. Right, so. Here she is. So she's been she's been wrapped up in bubble wrap again inside. I think you can see which one I've got. I think you can all see which one I've got. She's obviously been out of the out of the box. Maybe she's been on display, possibly. So here she is. She's amazing. Look at her hair. She's got like large ringlets. Oh, she's amazing. Oh, I love her. Look at her face. Let me just get this box out of the way. Oh, she looks amazing, doesn't she? Let's get her bag. I'm so excited. Waited such a long time for this doll. I love her hair. Her hair is, oh, it's like big ringlets her hair is. I didn't know her hair was going to be like that. It is so soft. Her hair is so soft. So she's in a nice Mac. 
they have brilliant articulation these dolls do so she's in a nice mac and she's in some boots but look at the quality of these boots they've got zips that go down the back the quality on these dolls is just amazing they they were well worth what I paid for them. And I, and I even think this doll is worth what I paid on eBay for her, to be honest. She's, yeah. So she's in her Mac. So let's undo her Mac. She's got a lovely little belt there that's Velcroed. She's got actual poppers on her Mac. And then underneath, I'm probably not going to take, she's got a little black dress on, which is lovely. Probably not going to take her Mac off. I want to leave her as, as she is, to be honest. So she's got a lovely scarf. I'm going to do her back up. I don't I don't actually want to undress her or anything. I, I want to keep her as she is. So she can go. My other four are behind me. I don't know whether you can see them. They're there. Um, I'm trying to move my thumb to where they are. They're there, look, above my thumb. Can you see them? There's four of them up there. They're up there with my Blythe dolls They're up on the top shelf there. Yeah, I think you can see them if you look. If I move my head out of the way, I think you can see them there, can't you? I've got four of them. And I've also got my Cindy Gale doll up there as well. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to take her. I'm going to put her belt back on. I'm not going to take her out of her... It's really clever the way this belt velcros at the back. It's, it's it's really nice. Yeah, there we go. Her boots. I mean, those boots. Oh, look, she's got a little pink Cindy heart on her Mac there. The scarf is nice, isn't it? Isn't the scarf nice? But her hair. I can't get over how soft that hair is. Look at it. Look at it. It's just bouncing, isn't it? I mean, obviously, I'm not going to do anything with her hair. I mean, why Why would I? Why, why, why would anyone change her hair? So she's got the scarf on, the black and beige scarf on there. The boots, I mean, they they feel, they're like, they're soft. They're obviously a faux leather. And I mean, look at them. Look at them. The detail on those. I love her. I absolutely love her. I would say she's definitely one of my grail dolls. I've wasted a long time for her, so I'm very, very pleased to have her. And as I say, I do feel I got her for a reasonable price. So here's her bag. So I'm going to put that over her shoulder. See how she looks with her bag on. As I say, the articulation in these dolls is so good. It's so good. It really is. There you go. So her bag and her boots go really well together, don't they? Look at her. How beautiful is she? So she is Shopping Look. That's her name. Look at her face. She's got really red lips. See, look at the detail. She's got she's got stud diamond earrings in, look. I mean the quality. Those those earrings aren't going to slip out. On most other dolls, you put earrings in, like Rainbow High dolls, they keep falling out. But hers are oh look at that. It's the details, isn't it? So she's got lovely eyebrows. Just drop the um, bag there. She's got lovely eyebrows, bright red lip. She's got very light blush on. She's so pretty, isn't she? And the hair, I mean, the hair is just, it's just wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. It really is. I think if I'd known how lovely she was she would have been the first one that, that i bought but obviously i went for dream day because i wanted the one with pink hair i think maybe this one and the other one so the one i'm missing now is city chic who is in the black and white dog tooth cape which is a copy of a outfit that cindy originally wore vintage cindy had that same cape it's a co copy of it and i have actually got that cape so I think that if, as I say, if if I'd known, I would have got those two first, obviously, but they weren't the ones that stuck out to me, to be honest. But this one and City Chic, who I still haven't got, were the ones that sold out first. So I'm going to be on a bit of a mission now trying to get City Chic, aren't I? But I mean, I've, I've waited. 
I've waited probably a year to 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 get her you know and um, I mean I could have got her easily if, if I was willing to pay 425 pounds I would have been able to get her easily but I wasn't willing to pay anywhere near that nowhere near so the fact that I've got her for the price I did on a bid I'm so happy with that I still can't get over her hair so let's put her on her stand I mean you can see how wonderfully they're packed in their boxes I mean I don't keep my doll boxes anymore when we moved house I found like a hundred rainbow high boxes up in the up in the loft and I thought no I'm not going to keep doll box boxes anymore but I have obviously kept these beautiful boxes of all of these that I've got and I would not get rid of them I would not get rid of these boxes no way no way they are beautiful so that's her there isn't it yeah that's her yeah the art the artwork's lovely isn't it on that so yeah I've kept the box the four dolls that I've got that I bought from you I've got their their boxes yeah I've kept them so her stand is lovely these stands are just so so nice some of her hair's come out there um yeah these these stands are lovely so let's show you on her stands there she is look a good good quality stands i like the length of her coat and i like she's just basically got a plain little black dress on underneath as i say i'm not ready to take her coat off yet i just want to enjoy her as she is and the scarf looks nice doesn't it i would give her a bag back but i've dropped it on the floor anyway um yeah so she's she's lovely isn't she her boots are nice they're so soft they're faux faux leather boots but they're so soft i'm just seeing there's a little bit, a bit of a hole on there oh no i just think it's a bit of i don't know i'm not quite sure what that is in her boot it's just a little white bit on there i think it's just where yeah it's just it's fine it's fine i mean i knew she wasn't new in box i knew she'd been out of the box so i wasn't expecting her to be as you know i mean i, I was expecting her to be looking as new but i knew she'd been taken out of the box i imagine the ebay seller who sold her to me probably had her on display her hair is so nice i can't wait to put her with my other ones with the other four i can't wait to to do that but i think i think to be honest when I got Weekender, now I got the Weekender one was the fourth doll I got. And I wish I'd got her sooner, to, to be honest. I think I went for the wrong dolls, but they were the ones I wanted at the time. But I think the more natural looking hair dolls are the ones that are the most popular. Whereas I went for Dream Date because she had pink hair and I went for Skater Girl because she had blue hair. I went for Sleepy Time because I liked her dark skin and Weekender... I got because she was the last one that was available for me these these two this one and city chic sold out first and i think they're the ones with the most natural hair which i can understand you know the majority of other cindy collectors would, would probably prefer natural hair i would always love pink hair on a cindy i mean i've got the vintage space fantasy cindy and she's got pink pink hair and i love her I love all coloured hair. You know, obviously I got the skater girl because she had blue hair. So I was always going to go for them first. But I do actually think this girl is, she's better. She is. Her, her hair is so nice. Now, City Chic, who I haven't got, who's got the black and white dog tooth cape on, has got short hair. So I really want her as well because she's the only one with short hair. She's got like a bob, like a dark bob. So I really want her as well. But I don't think she's going to beat this girl because her hair is amazing. Look at her hair. Now, you know, in, in, in Rainbow High Dolls, they have curls like this, don't they? And they rock hard because they've got product in them. These have got no product in whatsoever, but are holding those beautiful ringlet curls. No product in there whatsoever. 
I'm so pleased with her. I really am. I've waited a long time for her. And as I say, she's definitely one of my Grail dolls. I'm so happy to have her. I really am. And I think out, I've got five of them now. And I think out of the five, I think she is the, the best. She is. I, I don't regret getting the others first. But she, she is really something special, isn't she? Show you her face. Look at that. So she's got rooted eyelashes there. I mean, look at her face. Look at the earrings. Look at those. She's beautiful. Now, the articulation, they've got, they bend at the knees completely. Their feet, do their feet bend? I might have to take one of the boots off. I think their feet do bend. I'm just going to make sure. I don't mind taking one of the boots off. Well, I hope I can get it back on. I think Skater Girl's ankles bend. No, I don't. I don't know whether this. No, she's got flat feet, and they don't. They don't bend. They don't bend at, at the ankle. Let's put her boot back on. I don't want to leave it off for any period of time because I tell you what's happened to me. I've got Sleepy Time, who's in the pink satin PJs with a matching dressing gown. And she's got black slippers on and I've lost one of the slippers. I'm absolutely gutted. So she's only got one slipper. I've lost one of them. So that's why I would not take a boot off and not put it straight back on because I do not want to lose. I mean, I've got four cats and they often, well, especially my cat, Julian, my British Blue. He's the one that was missing for 23 days. He often comes up and he, he picks things up from my doll room and he carries them about. So that's how things get lost. He's so funny. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not making that mistake again. And I, and I never did find the slipper that I'd lost for this doll. I have looked to see if maybe anyone would be selling just the slippers. I mean, they're not likely to on eBay, really, are they? But it does make me wonder whether I might get another one of those at some point. Because she's quite reasonable. The sleep, the sleepy time doll is quite quite reasonable. But then I do buy another doll just to get a slipper. I have thought about it. But I think I'm probably going to concentrate on trying to get City Chic. I mean, you have to check eBay a lot because they don't come up, up all the time. Even the expensive ones don't come up all the time. Whereas the four that I've already got, they come up quite regularly to buy. So I'm really, really happy with her. I really am. On a rainy day, it's raining here today and my husband's gone to work. He's on a late shift. So I've just done this box on opening and I'm very, very happy with her. Very happy. I really am. She's beautiful, isn't she? So there is my Cindy Collectors Club doll shopping look. And isn't she amazing? Thanks for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.